Today, we are going to talk about cell lineage during late embryo development in plants. Cell lineage in plants is the pattern of cell divisions that occur during the development of a plant. In other words, it's the developmental history of a plant's tissue or organ uh, from the fertilized egg to a mature cell that can no longer divide. Cell lineages during late embryo development in plants are established through cell division and differentiation of the zygote, which is the product of fertilization. The zygote is a totipotent cell that gives rise to the major cell lineages and uh, tissues of the adult plant. After fertilization, the nucleus of the zygote moves to the apical pole and the zygote divides asymmetrically to produce a small apical cell and a larger basal cell. Apical cell will generate the entire embryo while the parts like suspense are hypophysis and uh, root cap are derived from the larger basal cell. So cell divisions in these two lineages produce the two to four cell stage embryo at approximately 48 hours after pollination, the eight cell embryo at approximately 60 uh, hours after pollination, the 16 cell dermatogen embryo at approximately 66 hours after pollination, 32 cell globular embryo at approximately 72 hours after pollination, and the approximately 500 cell heart stage embryo at approximately 120 hours after pollination. First of all, epidermal lineages. Epidermal lineage is specified at the dermatogen stage. You can see here the different stages of embryo development from zygote. This is zygote. This is a two cell stage, apical cell and basal cell, two to four cell stage of the embryo. This is dermatogen stage. So, epidermal lineage is specified at this stage, that is dermatogen stage. I can see here uh, in the apical part of the embryo. This is suspension. So, uh, uh, the ground and the vascular tissue lineages is specified at the globular stage of the embryo. This is globular stage uh, of the embryo. Then, shoot apical meristem and the root apical meristem are also produced at the globular stage. So, at the globular stage, ground and vascular tissue lineages as well as shoot apical meristem and root apical meristem are produced at this stage. Then, cotyledons. Cotyledons are produced at heart stage. You can notice here uh, the development of cotyledons. So, cotyledons are produced at the heart stage. After pattern formation, the embryo undergoes a period of morphogenesis where growth of the organs and uh, growth of the organs that uh, are established by the heart stage lead to an embryo with fully organized shoot apical meristem and root apical meristem, hypocotyl and elongated cotyledons. Right? So, this is heart stage torpedo stage, band stage, and mature stage of the embryo. For example, in Arabidopsis thaliana, here first typical zygotic vision is usually asymmetrical and gives rise to two daughter cells that differ in both morphology and developmental destiny. The upper smaller and cytoplasm rich apical cell then divides serially in an orderly fashion to form the embryo uh, uh, proper which will later contribute to the development of most of the seedling. In contrast, the lower, larger and vacuolated basal cell divides transversely to form a linear structure means the suspensor. As a temporary structure, the suspensor disappears in the late stages of embryogenesis except for the uppermost derivatives, uh, the hypophysis, which joins the embryo proper to give rise to uh, part of the root meristem. Both, cell, uh, both cells originate from the same other cell, but show distinct division uh, patterns. 
and cell fates, uh, which is a unique feature of plant embryogenesis uh, as compared with the animal embryogenesis. The asymmetrical division of the zygote not only produces two morphologically distinct cells, but also establishes the original apical basal axis of the pro-embryo. Uh, similarly, in the case of tobacco, in the case of tobacco, both apical and basal cells are horizontally divided and produce a four-celled pro-embryo. You can see here two-celled uh, stage of the embryo and this is four-celled pro-embryo. Then the basal cell lineage divide uh, horizontally and form a suspensor with four linearly arranged cells. And these two cells apical cell lineage this two celled apical cell lineage however divides vertically two times to form an eight celled embryo and then divide once more to form 16 celled embryo now directional growth of the basal cell lineage is similar with or without apical cell uh, connections. So, growth and expansion in basal cell and its daughter cells occurred mainly along the longitudinal axis of the cell. So, it has been confirmed experimentally that the growth of single isolated basal cells follows the basic pattern of their counterpart in intact proembryos and demonstrated uh, their directional expansion along the longitudinal axis. The presence or absence of the apical cell does not influence this process. The process can proceed autonomously not only in isolated basal cells but also in subsequent suspensor cells. Then uh, the isolated apical cell, it could develop into an early embryo without the suspensor. It has been indicated that apical cells could divide horizontally and produce a two-celled embryo. These two-celled embryos could further divide vertically and produce four-celled embryos which could finally develop into small globular embryo. In all apical cell-derived structures, cell fate did not transition toward a new suspensor, indicating that once the basal cell was removed, it is not replaceable by any cells from the apical cell lineage. It suggests that apical and basal cells are likely to have inherited different cytoplasmic contents from the zygote as a result of asymmetric zygote division that provides a starting point uh, for their different cell fate. Uh, specification process. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Thank you.